there are elements of hawkishness here, in particular in the minutes, the, the signal that some MPC members are getting less tolerant about higher inflation. I could see that potentially over the coming months even leading to a split vote among the MPC where you've got some members voting for a rate hike. They see inflation going up, they don't see much of an economic slowdown and they might start thinking about pulling the trigger. Um, there are reasons, however, at least to be tolerant about higher inflation for the time being. That is predominantly the overshoot of the inflation target is set to be driven predominantly by the fact that the exchange rate has fallen so much. Yeah. That will start pushing up on import, or import inflation. Uh, but those effects tend to be transitory and drop out. And as long as the economy does slow at least somewhat, then once those effects on inflation drop out, then it is absolutely reasonable to keep very loose monetary policy. However, if that slowdown doesn't really materialize, if inflation really does pick up in a meaningful and persistent way, then you could see those hawks getting their way, I think, in the coming months or at least within the next couple of years. Can a housing market in, in not just Britain but London now as well, given that London's uh, house price increases has, have softened so much. Mm. Can a housing market take potentially one or two hikes this year? Yeah, I think there's been a couple of headwinds to the housing market recently in terms of stamp duty changes, for example, um, Brexit uncertainties perhaps. Um, but, you know, there's a headwind, to the, a tailwind to the housing market, at least in terms of foreign investment, given the weakness in the pound, which has sort of helped. Um, in terms of, say, one or two 25 basis point bank rate rises, I don't see that causing a collapse in the London housing market, and certainly in terms of house prices, where the demand side doesn't seem to be falling off a cliff. The supply side is still very tight. You know, I'm still relatively yeah. optimistic about Do you agree the with that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would, I, would, I would go along with that. I think the vulnerabilities in the economy are, are definitely there, but they're not necessarily because I'd, I'd sort of see some sort of imminent collapse in the, in the housing market.